The squad is here and picking which one is right to play for you is pretty tough. You've got traversal abilities, different melee weapons, different guns and play styles for all four of the anti-heroes. So today I'll help you pick the right one for you. Let's go. Let me know in the comments which one you're picking. Now, we'll start with Deadshot and a couple of caveats to think about. Now, you can switch between any of them as long as you are outside of combat. You can always switch. And there's even reasons too, as in certain missions, certain heroes or anti-heroes will get buffs to XP gain after the actual mission. So you will actually want to switch between the heroes, but it is actually worthwhile maining at least one of them because of gaining talents as well as the rewards after missions, as it seems to be be skewed that the weapon rewards after missions are for the character that you're actually playing. So you'll typically have, say, one character that's going to be significantly more powerful than the others for that reason. But it's also because there are different mechanics for each hero, not only in their talent trees and their overall play style, but the actual traversal mechanics are slightly different with each of the heroes with different button presses. So they sort of have different like flow states, I guess, in terms of how their movement works. And an example of this is using Deadshot. It's probably the easiest like traversal hero as he has the jetpack which allows you to hover and you've got some pretty good control over how you move that jetpack around and being able to like climb things and that sort of thing and then you've got someone like boomerang for example which requires a lot more finesse as you have to aim your boomerang to then teleport to it so whereas with deadshot you just like hold a button you can hover whereas with boomerang you've got to actually aim where you want to go so it's a little bit different in that regard now with deadshot we have got the jetpack which we have talked about which is a limited resource and you will only be able to fly around for a certain period of time before you have to either touch the ground or like wall climb something like that for melee weapons you've got wrist mounted cannons so you don't really have like a direct melee weapon and because of that you're mostly going to be playing deadshot as sort of a ranged character to some regard now in terms of the weapons he has access to he has access to pistols sniper rifles and assault rifles so you'll be using one of those three sort of weapons now the play style for deadshot really focuses on using those weapons the talent trees often are revolved around increasing his overall damage or his critical hit chance when you have high combos and using those to your overall abilities. So focusing on actually hitting targets and dealing those crit chance is really the main thing you want to do with Deadshot while hovering in the air and sort of keeping your distance. You don't want to be up close and personal. Now next on the cards, we've got Captain Boomerang. Now, as mentioned, his traversal mechanic is really his boomerang itself. You'll throw it and then you'll be able to teleport to it. You have to actually hold the boomerang to throw it further. So in the same way that it is different to Deadshot's where you can just sort of you know press the button and jetpack around with boomerang that mechanic is a little bit harder to actually initiate and to use you can also dash in the air as boomerang for melee weapons boomerang has the boomerangs themselves which are relatively similar to say the wrist mounted cannons in that they're not directly a melee weapon but they do take up that melee weapon slot and but you'll be able to use these with a little bit of range from the targets in boomerangs arsenal you have access to sniper rifles smgs and shotguns as the main weapons boomerang fits with with sort of like a, a high skill ceiling character because of the control elements with the boomerang and being able to land those hits as well as using it to say juggle enemies as you can use his talents to lift enemies up hold them in the air and then shoot them with your weapons like your shotguns etc so if you like characters that can manipulate enemies by lifting them up in the air or require a bit more of skill in terms of being able to land their shots and play them effectively I think Captain Boomerang is probably the option for you there now because you've got access to SMGs and shotguns as your sort of main weapon You've also got sniper rifles, which you can still use in that close range, like shotguns and SMGs. You just don't aim down sights, and they are often a really solid high damage dealing, like burst damage ability that you can use for boomerang to smash out with the sniper rifles, which is what I've been doing. Hey, uh, Harley Quinn, Arkham Gazette. For Harley Quinn, you've got access to Batman's grappling hook, which is sort of hooked onto a drone, so you can sort of like swing around, and you can actually hold that and just like maintain that swing and shoot from it, a little similar to. Deadshot can sort of hover in the air and shoot in that regard. You can also grapple onto the corner of buildings. Very similar movement mechanics to the Arkham games. If you're a big fan of those games, you might find Harley Quinn to be your option that you want to pick for that regard. In terms of your melee weapons, you've really just got like the mallets, like the baseball bats, sort of like that are known for Harley Quinn to actually use is what she'll use here. Now, her weapons that she has access to are pistols, SMGs, and heavy guns. So you're really focusing on 
spray and praying, I guess, right? Like a lot of, you know, explosions here in her kid as well as running and gunning and using those abilities. But you also have the option to deal real actual melee attacks with the baseball bats, right? Like you can use that as an effective play style because there is talents and skills linked to that. Same as say, if you wanted to stay in the range route with the run and gunner, like play style where you can sort of run around and use those heavy guns and SMGs to your maximum effects. But you can also use explosives as Harley Quinn. You've got talents that are based around her explosive damage with detonator as a play style there. So if you're using grenades for that regard, you've got that as well. Just a quick question. What's with the freaking shark? I would be happy to introduce myself. Last on the cards, we have King Shark. Now his movement ability is sort of just like his strength, I guess, like just because he's so strong, you can like use them to like leap around and you've also got air dashes, but you can't really stay in the air as King Shark. There isn't really an option to do that similar to Boomerang. So for the most part here, you'll be using it just to traverse and to like climb up walls or like jump around, but you can cannonball down on enemies, which will deal significant damage. And because of his melee prowess as well, it's a good option to do as you'll be able to use like bladed weapons like hawks and axes that sort of a thing with king shark in melee range if you wanted to do that as your option but in terms of your guns here you've also got access to shotguns assault rifles and heavy weapons like mini guns which i found to be the most effective for king shark is getting up close and personal with enemies mixing up those melee attacks with something like a mini gun and being able to use that in combat is sort of the main way that i've played king shark and his, his play style is very tanky right you've got like a heavy weapon melee fighter you want to get up close and personal and a lot of his talents are sort of based around that as well as to lower the amount of damage that he will actually take while obviously increasing the amount of damage that he can do as well and then you can either focus on the melee aspect of the kit with say the predator play style using the animalistic brawler aspects of his kit or focusing on the artillery of like the heavy weapon uses that you do have and using those shotguns and heavy weapons to get up close and personal with them instead of your melee weapons but with king shark the real like thing to consider here is that I personally you may think this differently I found the traversal to be the most like annoying with him because you can't maintain air and be able to get some of that as comfortably as you can with some of the other characters because like most of the fights in the game will be on like rooftops and you'll be zipping between rooftops a lot I've actually found King Shark to be the hardest one to do that with just because of the way that like his jump works and then being able to like dash in there it's a little harder to do that consistently and get that flow state right of like you know zipping around compared to harley quinn that could just like grapple up to the roof or boomerang that you could just throw the boomerang up there or even like you know dead shot you just literally use the jetpack to be able to fly up there so the one thing that i really think that you should consider here is really that traversal mechanic now the intro of the game will let you sort of play around with each of them and obviously you can switch between the characters whenever but that traversal mechanic is what i personally think is what you should make your decision on is what feels most fun to you because you will be using that mechanic constantly throughout the game not only in combat when you're actually like moving around the combat arenas and fighting all the enemies but just getting between objectives right it's not you're not going to you know jump in the batmobile and drive around you've actually got to use that mechanic to get between these locations so making sure that you're comfortable with that traversal mechanic and enjoy that mechanic and actually using it constantly is the main thing that i would consider when choosing between deadshot captain boomerang harley quinn and king shark now, there will be other characters coming after launch as well. We know for a fact that the Joker going after launch, his movement mechanic, if you're wondering, is a rocket-powered umbrella, which actually looks really fun to use. But there will be other characters added after launch in the sort of like seasonal model that they're doing. So we might revisit this video once all the characters are out and maybe rank them or something like that. But I'm really interested for you guys to let me know in the comments down below which one of these heroes you are playing at launch. And thank you guys for watching this video till the end. Thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza, and I hope you have a great day.